My name is Arvi Naga, and I'm an associate professor in the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department at the University of Kansas. And then these projects involve giving students these kits that they can build these uh, robot bodies and brains and program them accordingly to compete in a number of competitions. The robot got loose or something? The robot is on its own, it's autonomous, and it's making decisions based on what it senses. There are 36 students, and they're divided into teams of four, so there's nine teams. Each game is going to be two minutes, and at that two minutes, I'll just call the tie. So there's three points for a win, one for a tie, and zero for a loss. Okay, three, two, one, go. Some of the approaches I, I could envision people taking is wow. one would be based on physical appearance. So they could go for larger robots, heavier robots. We also uh, use a third motor, which only a couple other groups are doing, which gives us that slight power advantage when you're really locking up. But a different approach would be to say, go for a slim but a very sort of uh, agile robot. My name is Michael Cram, um, computer engineering major, and I'm originally from Anaheim, California. We've tried to isolate all the possibilities that the other teams could, uh, could do, and we know nobody is going to be more heavy or more powerful than us, so we figure if we're at maximum there and we can defeat a wedge, we, we can't lose. James Waymeyer, Electrical Engineering, Newton, Kansas. I, I, would, I would actually say we'd go first because we have a good solid design. We've thought about all the ways other teams could uh, underpin us. Team Jarella, we're coming after you. Johnny Five, <laughs> you don't have a chance. You don't have a chance at all in this competition. Come on, Johnny. Push him off the center. <laughs> We, we win as a team and we lose as a team. At least we beat Johnny Five. This class has been the most eye-opening teamwork experience I've ever had. Gaining 18 points total from the 18 bouts, that puts Ambertronics in number one and, and, and they win the sumo comp. <laughs> the competition benefits the student in a number of ways. Uh, number one, it, 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 it forces the students to collectively come up with decisions. In many of the school projects or exams, they work alone. Now here they have to get together with other people and try to brainstorm and come up with sort of collective ideas that work, number one. Number two, it benefits them because it lets them know as engineers and scientists, it's not only what you do, but it's other, what others do that matter too. In other words, you could come up with a good product, but if there's a competing product that's better, then in effect you have not been as successful. So. You know, having electri electrical engineers and computer scientists together working, um, there's no other class that puts those two uh, together. So a class like this brings those two types together and gets them to produce a product that uh, everybody can see and, and act and, and see the success. Again, in the real world, you're working together in teams with people with different majors and different disciplines, and uh, I think that this class is just preparing them once again. This class has been the most eye-opening teamwork experience I've ever had. So we had to isolate who was best at doing what and realize that we, we win as a team and we lose as a team.